Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Shazam. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we move over to the left side and draw in a circle. Starting from the very top. Just going to work our way around to the bottom back up towards the top. Now we leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So it's line at the top of the eye and draw in that same size circle. Now on the top left of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for a highlight. So just tuck up against the edge of the eye. I'm just going to come in and then back out. And do the same thing on the right side. Now in the center of the eye, we're going to draw a smaller circle tucked in behind the highlight. So start at the bottom here, curve around, and then in towards the side. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's go ahead and fill the pupils in black. Let's move in towards the center and draw on the nose. We're going to start with the bottom edge. Starting from the left, we're going to curve down and then up on the right. Now let's move up to the top and draw on the nose bridge. We're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving up and then down. Now we're going to move down in the center and draw on the mouth. Starting from the left, curve down in the middle, back up on the right. We're going to step down again, draw a shorter curve for the lower lip. Let's add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Starting on the left, we're just going to go over the edge of the mouth on both sides. Now we're going to go in and draw on the lower part of the head. From the eye, we're going to step out and curve down and in towards the chin just underneath the mouth. And I'm going to work my way back up towards the right, going across and then up. Let's move back to the left side. We're going to go up and we're just going to curve that in. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up and then hooking that in. Let's draw in the hairline. Starting on the left, we're going to go out and then up. Now from these two points, we're going to come up and then down towards the center point. Let's go to the left side, we're going to go up and then curve that down in the middle. Now let's go in and add in the eyebrows. Above the left eye, we're going to start on the outside, we're going to curve up and then down on the inside. Do the same thing on the right, going up over the eye and then down. On the inside, we're going to draw a short angle line going up and in. Now from the inside, we're going to taper down towards the end. So let's start on the end here. We're going to go thicker as we come up and then in. Let's go ahead and fill the eyebrows in black. Now let's move to the outside and draw on the side of the hair. From the top of the cheek, I'm going to curve out. Now we're just going to come straight up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then going up to the same height. Now back on the left side, we're going to layer the hair going over towards the right. Starting on the left, we're going to curve up. I'm just going to curve this down, aiming towards the center of the head. Let's go back out and do the same curve going up and over towards the right. We'll do that one more time, stepping back, we're going to curve up, now we're just going to come down towards the side of the head on the right side. Let's add a little bit more texture to the hair. We start from the center point, we're going to curve up and over towards the left, it's right about there. Let's move over and draw a shorter curve going across. Now let's go to the right side, do the same thing going over. Now we're going to move to the side of the head and draw on the ears. From the cheek, we're going to step up, start by curving over and down, and we're just going to pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up, rounding out the ear, and then pulling that in. Let's draw the inside edge of the ear. From the top of the cheek, we're just going to curve up and then out. Now that we completed the head, let's work our way down the body. Just underneath the chin on either side, we're going to draw a circle on the left side. 
I'm gonna move over towards the right and draw that same size circle. Let's draw a smaller circle on the inside of each circle. Now we're gonna connect these two circles with a straight line. Starting from the left, we're gonna go straight across. Now we're gonna to go to the top of the circle. On the left, we're gonna curve up and then in underneath the chin. Now we're gonna add that lightning bolt symbol in the center of the chest. Starting from the bottom of the circle on the left, we're gonna angle down and in with a straight line. We're gonna leave a gap in the middle. Go to the right and do the same thing. Coming down to the same height. And we're just gonna close this off with a straight line. Now we're gonna add that lightning bolt in the center. We start at the very top with a straight line going across. Now back on the left side, we're gonna angle down and in with a short line. We're gonna go in with a short line. We're gonna continue coming down and in. Go across again. Now we're gonna come straight down towards the middle. Let's go to the right side. Angle down and in. Now we're gonna go out this time. Going out, come down and in again. Go out with one more line. Now we're just gonna come all the way down towards the bottom point. Now we're gonna move out and draw on the side of the body. From the side of the circle here, we're gonna curve out and down towards the hip. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's connect these two points with a curve. Coming down and then back up on the right. Now we're gonna step up and draw that same curve. Going across. Now I'm gonna leave a gap in the center and draw two angled lines coming down and in. One on the left, and then one on the right. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, I'm gonna step down, we're gonna draw a curve, from left to right, going up, and then down. Now leaving a gap in the center, we're gonna to go to the left side, curve out, and down towards the left heel, and then the right heel. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we're gonna curve down, and up towards the toe on both sides. Let's draw on the top of the foot. So from the toe, we're gonna draw a curve going up, aiming towards the heel. We're not gonna go all the way. We're gonna come up and just come down to right about there. Let's thicken up the sole. So from the toe, we're gonna step up. We're just gonna follow that same curve going in towards the heel, and then on the right towards the toe. Let's go back up to the hip, we're gonna draw on the side of the leg. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve out, round out the knee, and then pull that in towards the top of the foot. Now let's add the edge of the boot. From the top of the foot, we'll step up, curve down, and then back up. Now let's go back up and draw on the arms. On the side of the body, I'm gonna start by curving out and down towards the wrist. Do the same thing on the right. Now back on the left side, let's start with the thumb. A small half circle, and then at the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Now at the bottom of the thumb, curve down and up around the bracket. We're gonna add two more fingers. Coming down, we're gonna step down and curve down and up the second finger. Now on the side of this finger, we're gonna curve out, round up the arm. Now I'm just gonna pull this up and in behind the side of this curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting with the thumb, draw that half circle, and then a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb will come down and up around the bracket. Draw on the second finger. Now the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around and then in behind the head. Now we're gonna add in the bracelet. Start from the top of the wrist, we're gonna curve up and then down towards the outside of the arm. Now I'm gonna step up and draw that same curve. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, go up and then back down. And we're gonna line this up, draw that same curve going across. Now we're gonna draw on the outside edge of the cape. Starting from the left side of the circle, we're gonna curve up and out towards the side of the arm on both sides. Now the cape's gonna come down in behind the arms. Starting behind this finger, straight down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve going in behind the legs. Starting on the left, we'll curve up, go in between, and then back down on the right. 
And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Shazam. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.